Okay, Armin Wright has a question. He said, I have someone looking to buy a house that I have title and land trust. The title company said they will make out the check in the name of the land trust. My bank is saying my trustee has to open up the bank account. What is the best way for me to solely control the money? So Armin, it's one of those things that has drifted over time. It used to be that we could get the title company just by showing them the trust and you could show your name as the beneficiary that they would make the check out to you. And that wouldn't be a problem, but that's become a problem now because of the uh, Patriot Act and know your customer rules for the bank and all these other distinctions, it's made it more difficult to get a check done that way. Now, the next option is to have the money wired into an account and just have it simply wired from that closing right into an account, and that might work. And I say it might work because it's really going to depend on that bank and what that bank does and what they don't do. So your relationship with that bank is a powerful thing, and what you want to do is have that discussion with them. Now, that's the third thing is if they do make out a check in the name of the trust and the trustee, you wanna to talk to your banker and say, well, this is, I'm the beneficiary of the trust and I can show you my trust paperwork. So would, if I bring in my trust paperwork and the check, will you deposit it into my account? And we're, we're talking about human beings here. And if that human being feels good about you and your account and your longevity with the company and they know you, they're likely to do something like that. If they don't know you, and less likely to do something like that. So the fourth option is to open a bank account in that name, is just simply have the, uh, get, get the paperwork. Many times it can be done online and your trustee would open the bank account. You deposit that check into that bank account and then that you could be a signatory on that bank account and you could move the funds over into any account you want to. So that is an option as well. If the others don't work, otherwise just open up the bank account and process it through that bank account. Okay. Luke, Do you have anything to add to that, Cynthia? I was just gonna say, um, I have been successful with my title company and my bank. Uh, actually very simply saying uh, through a letter of direction to the title company or title attorney um, that the trustee signs that says that the money goes to C.A. Shriver as trustee. And then it gets deposited into a bank account where I'm the trustee. So, okay, so use a letter of direction, of direction from the trustee of the trust, of the land trust, to direct them to deposit it to this account, whatever account it is. Actually, in that case, I just have to make out a check. So that would work as well. You just have the check made out instead of to the land trust, made it out to myself where I'm the trustee, and then I can deposit it wherever and I have a bank account where I'm the trustee. So that has worked for me as well. And Armin, this is one of the reasons that I always encourage you get with and stick with one title company and you have all closings, whether you are buying or whether you are selling, all closings go through that one portal. When you become an important customer to someone, then they'll do just about anything you need them to do. So, so uh, you know, when, once they get to know you, they're more flexible with things like that. 